my nan, who was in service, in the, you know, before the war and during the war, she said, love the old days. Miss, missed, like, you know, curtsy into the Lord of the Manor. when passing a horse and trap. My grandmother often used to say, what did she used to say? Oh, I've been blessed with you, Callan. I'm sorry, an horsey. I'm very pleased that I lived in my era and not yours. <laughs> I used to yeah. think, but the stories you tell me are all uniquely harrowing. <laughs> Why would you want more of that? <laughs> they love diphtheria and coal dust. <laughs> yeah. Underground and the, explosions and, and stuff. The, it. Yeah, it was the fact that work was so dangerous. And the two were Or just wars. demeaning. If it wasn't, you know... Yeah, if it wasn't dangerous, it was demeaning. Emptying someone else's fucking bedpans out, whatever they do, I don't know. Yeah. yeah it wasn't even one world war. <laughs> yeah, whereas what I do know is I, I, wet, I just wet the bed. She worked six and a half days a week, my nan. Yeah. <laughs> and she always remembers fondly the time when the lord of the manor that she was walk, working on, when she got ill the once, asked the, the cook to make my nan chicken soup. Didn't charge her for it. Didn't charge her for it, yeah. See? You should get, you should get like a half day on a Sunday to go to Sunday school oh, or church. Really and that was it. Sorry. An awesome, what a lovely awesome. man. A lovely man. When I was ill, when he was ill, he asked the cook to make me chicken soup. God, he sounds like fucking Mother <laughs> Teresa now. <laughs> So that you could get back to work quicker. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This may not yeah. be entirely altruistic. Something I could, <laughs> something I could dr- drink whilst doing the housework. <laughs> I could hold the soup in one hand and the brush in the other. I never look at those things from like the 50s and think, oh God, I wish I was alive. I wish I was alive in the 50s. Then again, people look at us in 50 years' time, our grandkids, and think, Christ, imagine that. Imagine that. Only having 4G. Wires everywhere. <laughs> Wires. You have to drive your own car. <laughs> yeah. No, no teleporters. You had to actually turn up for places. <laughs> well, they were still eating food, as opposed to this nutrition pill. Living on Mars was a pipe dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they, well, they didn't have downloadable friendships. Because <laughs> people are so f- fucking lazy these days. Golly and alien. And all the things you think the internet can be brilliant for ends up being just watching fucking TikTok, right? Yeah, in 50 years' story. time, this is what's going to happen. Everything will be exactly the fucking same, guaranteed. <laughs> Nothing will change at all. Logan Paul will be on his 19th title defence. <laughs> yeah, some other fucking pensioner. <laughs> <laughs> but then we haven't got to kick up the arse anymore, have we? There's nothing to do. People can eat. They've got a roof over their heads. They can go, to the, they can go and buy some cans down the pub. They can smoke weed. Even, just even the boffins just... are on TikTok now, so they're, they're not. Boffins are loving TikTok. They're not busy coming up with the, the inventions that will change our lives. The inventions will be other way, like you know, an invention recently was TikTok. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a faster TikTok. It's not fucking penicillin, is it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean it's just a, it's just a shorter shit way of doing something we already had. We already had Vine. That was six seconds. Twitter. I got a new invention. What is it? It's Twitter, but it's twice as many characters. That's not really an invention, is it? <laughs> What's the next great leap going to be? Artificial intelligence. They keep talking about that all the time. They say that is the 50s. I think if you showed... When that happens, by the way, we are fucked. (laughs) Yeah, if... Oh, here we go. (laughs) It's gone from joyous to shitty straight up. I will not. I will not have a robot wife. I've told Kelly. (laughs) If I outlive you, Kelly, I will not have a robot wife. I don't want to replace you with a robot. No. No. John Connor. I won't have sex with a wife, with with a robot wife, right? It will affect my libido, a robot wife. It'd just be me, my television, and Wankatron 3000. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the next step in technology. Oh, it'd be great, man. <laughs> just plug it in and just wanks you off when you're watching fucking Bargain Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking brilliant. Bargain Hunt setting. Kelly would have loved this. <laughs> so I'm not disrespecting her or nothing. She'd endorse the Wankatron 3000. Yeah. She'd sanctioned this. I was actually staring at her at the time. <laughs> you still got it, love. You still got it. Yeah, I just salute the urn. <laughs> just before and ejaculation. Fresh. And then Both press on. Plug it in. Let's go. That's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me, Mike. I got a deluxe model that's like a, it's like a finger be bum at the same time. <laughs> Del- Microtron 3000 XL. Does Mike love you? Does he? He told me the other day that he'd salute me. <laughs> <laughs> With both hands. With both hands. After he's been pleasured by his futuristic whacking machine. <laughs> what a romantic man. <laughs> oh, he's just 
faithless a day is long. <laughs> You've never cheated me with somebody couldn't plug in. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> Oh, Ben, are you going to visit Dad? Am I fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no way. No chance. You leave him in his little no. white paddock. Yeah. The problem is, he wants the white cutter on three thousand in the coffin with him. <laughs> when he eventually goes, and I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to read at the funeral. It'll be too weird. I didn't think we were start with wanking off a corpse in the first two minutes of the podcast. <laughs> it's, like, it's great. No, you're not. A no, robot not wanking a, off a corpse. <laughs> you're not. A, you're not a corpse, and it's you're still alive and kicking, Mike. You I just, would be kicking in a fucking you, coffin. What are you buried just, for? No, no, no. It's like when you're dead. You know, it's like, you know how some men get buried in their pyjamas. You'd be oh, buried yeah. in yeah. your pyjamas next to your Wankatron yeah, 3000. some people get their Olympic medals in there with them. You get yeah, your yeah. Wankatron 3000 in there. <laughs> they make, they'd be selling like fucking hotcakes. Don't you worry. Write it down, mate. Write it down. Get to the patent office quick. If you listen to this and you've you got, a, you got a, a small to medium tech company... <laughs> I've finally got the product for you. I'm just imagining it's like something out of Futurama. A lot of clanking. Occasionally yeah. could go wrong, rip your dick off. Yes, yeah. In my mind, it is It is a purely metallic robot yeah. hand. High risk, yeah. high reward. Don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> Inkjet printer. Oh god! <laughs> that, 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 the first time you tried it would be fucking terrifying. Can you imagine? You'd be at the showroom, yeah. some nineteen-year-old spotty. Cause so I do then. You be, you sit down, you put your penis in the in the hole oh, there, yeah. and then yeah, really, yeah, just like it is on a video. The triangle is play. So off you go, and then um, yeah, I'll I'll be back in a couple of minutes. See how you're doing with it. Thank you. You change, you change grip strength and everything, don't you? Yeah, oh, stop is square. Two lines for pause. Yeah, <laughs> and then we've got a little cup holder then for the yard. <laughs> no, I'd have that. I'm one of those, like, I'd have a head harness Yeah. with, like, a fishing rod, and, and the yard the would just be dangling in front of the Oh, that's way. nice. <laughs> I got it all sorted. <laughs> yeah. Head in three, head in three thousand. Can't wait. This. People who bought this also like this. <laughs> it's what she, it's what she would have wanted. God, the bleakest selection of Amazon reviews you've ever read in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I last left the house three and a half years ago, and it has performed faultlessly every day ever since. I've really put the Wonkatron three thousand through its paces over the last couple of weeks. I give it out of a fucking cane. <laughs> Hell of a game. <laughs> I thought we got. How did we get onto Wankatron 3000? I was just talking about coffee and then it went. I don't know <laughs> then all of a sudden, you're on a robot wanking you off. How was your day, Lesnie? All good? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems a bit of anti climax now, doesn't it? Yeah, I just can't wait to knock off. Uh, knock one off? Yeah. Give the Wankatron 3000 another go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little extract from our archives of the Socially Distant Sports Bar. What you can do now is scroll through the episode description, find the episode that that was from, and disappear off into our archives. Get yourself off on a journey around the Socially Distant Sports Bar. <laughs>